Am I doing yet another TikTok about fighting aim input? Yeah, it's my TikTok, I'll do what I want. This time I want to talk about auto combos, specifically about why people are so upset about auto combos. Usually the people who are upset about auto combos say now newbies can do the same things that they could do without having to practice. But that kind of shows you the problem, doesn't it? Before auto combos, there was something I like to call the rare candy effect. I'm borrowing the term from Pokemon. Basically, it was a way to level up without gaining experience. Take two total newbies, none of them have ever touched a fighting game before. One of these newbies goes directly into matches and starts really, really grinding out the fundamentals. They know how to block, they know how to predict, they know how to mix the opponent up. The other never plays against anyone, but goes into the lab and grinds out a B&B &B over and over and over again. Who ends up winning a couple weeks down the line when they face each other? The answer is the combo guy. The first guy is going to make better reads and is going to play better in general but he's never going to get the same damage return as the combo guy. The combo guy is just going to keep fishing for the same combo over and over again. And since they're both at low skill levels, he's going to get it every so often. And every time it hits, he's doing several, several times the damage as the first guy. He is playing worse, but doing better. He ate the rare candy. Auto combos remove that need. They give everyone access to one BMB. It's not a particularly good BNB, but you can get damage out of your hits now. That means even if you're going up against someone who has a much better combo than you, the difference in the amount of good reads you have to make is only ever one or two, not like five to six. You are pushed into learning the skills you need to learn to play a fighting game well much quicker when there are auto combos. But that also means that people whose only good skill was combos no longer get easy wins and those are the people who end up getting upset. Most fighting game developers know that modern day fighting games need some measure to avoid the rare candy effect. Guilty Gear Strive approaches it by making all of their combos very short. That way, even if you don't have a great BMB, you're still doing comparable damage off of stray hits. Couple that with the high damage of the game in general, and it balances the playing field. Now, I've made a ton of videos about complex fighting game inputs, but in a way, this is another version of the rare candy effect. Because you're not exercising core fighting game skills by knowing how to do a double quarter circle. You aren't making reads or putting on pressure or manipulating your opponent to open themselves up. You're just baking muscle memory into yourself. That's not skill, that's conditioning. And we could have a debate about whether or not video games should have an element of conditioning in them. But I personally think that video games should be more like chess, which is to say it's a game mostly about skill and a lot less about conditioning, and not like, say, sports like football or tennis, where it's a lot about skill and a lot about conditioning. But that's just me.